What's up, Jabroni? Steven here, and welcome back to yet another reaction. Today, we're hopping into Chuck number episode 11, um, Chuck versus the Crown Vic. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the series. If you have, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I highly recommend that you guys over here on Patreon hit the like button and share this video. Um, numbers really matter on series that don't really have like mainstream popularity, um, just because, you know, I have to edit the video and things of that nature. And if the numbers aren't gonna be as great over here on YouTube, then I might just keep the series as Patreon exclusives, you know, um, because the algorithm on YouTube kind of punishes you for having poor numbers, uh, viewing numbers and watch time and stuff. So just make sure if you like the series, hit that like button and support the show. Um, yeah, our last episode was Chuck versus the Nemesis. I thought, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Um, I think, I can't remember, I'm pretty sure though. Uh, I really enjoyed that episode. Yeah, I actually want to make sure that was the name of the last episode. Um, yeah, Chuck vs. the Nemesis, which I thought was a yeah. thumbs up. Um, Bryce came, then left. Weird. I thought Chuck, uh, I thought um, Bryce was going to be around. But nope, he bounced. Um, so that's cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the Crown Vic is. Isn't the Crown Vic a car? Maybe. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Head over to Patreon if you want the full uncut and reaction. Episodes up early over there, but yeah, um, it's extremely hot, muggy New York weather, high 80s. It's been raining, then it stops raining, and then it gets really hot. And, and air conditioners aren't in my room yet, so um, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> Here we go. Holy hell! Remember this song, yo? <laughs> Oops. I went. Ah, sure. Yes. Yes. You will be tied. Dude, they are gambling yeah, in the store. Wow, people. Yes, I know you think so, but Anna, this is the Parcheesi of my people. All right, don't question my spirituality. You know, hand over the cash. I know that grunt. Yeah, that's the number seven, right? Skeptical with a side of cynicism. Just clearing my throat. That to wherever your buddy Bryce is hiding himself. Is that uh, is that an option? Oh, don't worry. I hear there's a great selection of new handlers in this year's CIA Christmas catalog. Right outside her house last night in the bushes, I saw her get picked up to go out, then dropped off exactly three hours and 24 minutes later. She's cheating Stalker on me. Stalker much? Oh, Anna Banana is cheating on me. In the bushes? Born like a dog or a dolphin. Dr. Dre. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's not Dre, man. Dexter. Anna's cheating on me. Ouch. Who's the lucky guy? <laughs> Maybe it's not another guy. Okay, let's strap on our life jackets and hit the marina. How do you wake up looking like that? You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Oh, I think Sarah's sad. I don't think she's going with Bryce, I just think she's sad. Bathroom is not in there. Nobody downstairs. No, Jeff, wait. Hey, stop, Jeff, no. Oh, holy Jackpot. shit. Get out. Get out. Go, 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 go. Watch this. Watch the what? Oh. He's gonna like. On the number, right? The number of the cow. Oh, shit. I'm getting my sea legs. <laughs> okay, Jeff Lester, I think uh, we should go now. That would be, uh, sir, you dropped this. It's, it's a fake. No, it's not. Is it? Fake. Whatever. So is Cool Whip. Ahoy, hoy. Where is Agent Walker? Uh, yeah, she kind of. Uh, <clears throat> Agent Walker is currently suffering from a spastic colon, which acts up on her from time. Why to time. is that his go-to <laughs> thing? <clears throat> Perhaps we should be scheduled when Agent Walker is feeling better. I'm fine. I'm sorry, I'm late. Carry on. As we were saying, Tuck's Long happy now inside. devotes most of his time and money to aid <laughs> projects, mostly she picked foreign. Me. Then we think he's the sort. Will Chuck and Sarah be going as a couple? Unless they have a problem. No problem. Problem. Good luck, then. Casey's such a dick, dude. Hey, hey, Sarah, wait. What's up? Um, nothing. Oh my god, dude. Just, just, just leave it alone for a while, Chuck. Leave it alone for a while, Maybe buddy. Now. I'm sorry, Morgan. I did lie. I think I'm gonna be nauseous. I'm not seeing someone else. Please, I saw you getting a guy's German luxury sedan. All right, it's bad enough that you're cheating, but did it have to be with someone so successful? Morgan, 
My parents are in town. That was my dad's car. Morgan, relax, buddy. It's gonna be fine. Just be yourself. That's what Anna likes, right? So will her parents. Mm. Yeah. Right, you're right. That's what I do. You're are right. you insane? You can't be yourself. You have to be better than yourself by like a factor of 10. We all know Sarah's gonna look amazingly stunning. And Chuck's gonna be like, well. This open. is my. Hell. How did she know that? Should be pretty fun, right? It's work. All right. Sarah's in a great mood. It's okay. <clears throat> of Taiwan are deeply appreciative of your generosity. Oh, well, cheers. The name's I wonder Carl if Anne's Carl parents are here. Michael, pleasure. And or Anna's stunning parents are here. Companion. Sarah Walker. Pleasure. Any other bets? <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. He's gonna lose all the money in, in one go. Oh, all my Jesus. Always bet on black. You're in 100,000 on black. Yeah, he thought it was... $100,000? Is that what you just said? Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I don't. I didn't realize it's a normal. It's a normal bet for me, $100,000. So, he thought on, it was $100. Black, 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 black. <laughs> the premier, he's dirty. They're using the charity as a front to launder counterfeit money. Okay, something's wrong. I'm gonna go over. Chuck, you stay at the table. Oh, yeah, see, it is. It's his car. He has a Crown Vic. <laughs> I didn't even know he had a car. He's pretty shiny though. Yeah, she's shiny. 4.6 V8 engine, hydroglide transmission. He's excited as hell. Prisoner containment area, even installed a state-of-the-art GPS tracking system in the license plate. Where am I from? Wow. She's Where so nervous, she's already shaking. From? I myself hail from many fathers. Nietzsche, Sartre, Jarrell. He's at Encino, he's from Encino. He's gonna hate that he there, tried to be somebody else. There I was, oceaned up by some creepy Richard Branson meets Willem Dafoe looking dude, right? And he is. I was gonna say he looks like Willem Dafoe. Her, man. I mean, he is really greasing her and working up this lather. I mean, it's just, it's uh, quite a scene. Oh. Chuck, what is it? They're loading counterfeit plates onto that boat. They're hidden in, in crates marked as aid medicines. medical supplies for the earthquake victims of Taiwan I wanted to deliver it myself we leave tomorrow now if I could get your names and agency affiliations I want to make sure that everybody is properly accounted for when I speak to your boss's bosses later this evening just when you thought that I was getting intimate with Kirk you decided to have a flash what exactly are you implying that I fake the flash and I'm a flash faker no, <laughs> a flash faker the fact that you let your emotions get in the way today did you kiss me that night because you thought we were going to die and mine were the most convenient lips around, or was it actually about me? What happened was a mistake. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's uh, what every guy wants to hear. Again. Okay, yep. But he didn't fake a flash. I mean, why would he do that? I mean, I guess if he was jealous, but then again, I don't know. Right, I'm going to give you one last chance to come clean. Did you or did you not compromise yourself in the intersect? Ever just want to have a normal life? So does that mean Anna's parents are dirty? Plates are on Rashad's boat. Look, I know that your orders are to stay away from this, but you have to believe me. The plates are on that boat, possibly with Morgan and Anna. Look, trust me, I wouldn't even be here right She's now if I wasn't one hundred percent sure. Where, what are you? Let's go. I guess that's how you get Chuck back on your side, right? Is... Chuck! Sir! Casey, what are you doing here? Someone needs to protect the intersect, huh? Well, that's nice. very thoughtful. Thank you very <clears throat> much, I guess. We'll say they want to miss any gunplay. <laughs> he drove his own car. Oh, look, there he is. Dumbass. Is that a bomb? Oh, it's for like a missile to hit. Get out of the way! What? Holy the shit! Down. Is he? Oh. 
What the fuck? If he, if he if that shit would have hit Chuck's legs, he would have all died. He knocked himself out. What a moron. <laughs> Where is it coming? I can't, I can't believe that worked. Where is it going? Chuck, where's the rocks heading now? I don't know. I reset it. Oh. Come on, we're running out of time here. Just tell me where the GPS coordinates are for the ground, Vic. Tell me, uh, tell me, Casey. 71477. Just jump off the boat. Uh, I'm really sorry, buddy. Oh. I hate this assignment. Oh my god, how does Casey not kill him now? I think they should have just got off the boat, let it blow up the boat. What's up, little buddy? Hey, buddy. Hey, dude. Being a little girl, dressing a certain way, not being myself. I don't want you to see me like that. I did miss your pretty makeup. <laughs> and your inappropriately short skirts. <laughs> not everything's changed. Think the break room doors locked? Let's find out. <laughs> Mr. Hall. What's happening? Major, I am calling to inform you that the beta version of the Intersect computer was successful. This means the new Intersect should be up and running soon. Very Once well. the new computer is online, it will be time to take care of Bartowsk. Roger that. I hope you have not grown too fond of the subject. I would hate for you to be <laughs> compromised. So his mission is to kill Chuck? What kind of dirty ass government is this? They're using this angle right away. Um, that episode was pretty good. Um, I'm gonna give it like a seven. Um, told a pretty decent story with Chuck and Sarah and kind of their relationship where it is and it isn't. And that was probably the most interesting part. I didn't, the Morgan stuff was fine. I mean, you kind of felt, saw that coming with the Morgan stuff. Kind of cliched where, you know, the parents, he tried to be somebody else. Just to impress the parents, um, you essentially saw that coming. But yeah, I think a solid seven is a good score. Maybe a maybe a low seven, high six. We didn't get too much crazy shenanigans happening, honestly. Um, it was really more about the personal stuff with Chuck. So let's kind of break through the episode. It'll be pretty quick. First, Morgan is a stalker. He is 100% a stalker. Kind of crazy, kind of unstable. The fact that he was watching Anna in the bushes and thinking she was cheating was uh, a bit much. We have Lester and what's the other guy's name? Kind of essentially being weirdos with the eggnog and the playing of the, po the um, gambling game. Uh, we have Sarah kind of being sad. You know, Bryce left. She's in a bad place with Chuck. Kind of showing that she's kind of a human. <laughs> she has a human side to her. We've already seen that, but like we're seeing even a more human side to the relationship aspect of it. Um, she was late to work. Then the overall concept of the episode is money laundering and dirty stuff like that. So that was fine, I guess. But it was everything with Chuck and Sarah and the tension and, and the awkwardness and all that that really played into the episode, which I enjoyed. We even have the uh, moments where Chuck Chuck is just in a very weird state of just not knowing what the hell is going on. We then, let's see, head over to this. We're party, drunk, Lester. Oh, Jeff is the other guy. Then Morgan confronts Anna, or confronts Anna about something. She falls in line and says, it was just my dad, even though she should have questioned it. Like, don't, like, don't be that person. But... He wants to meet the parents. We then get us going to a charity event. The whole throwing the knife at the alarm clock, stuck it to the wall. Chuck losing $100,000 was funny because he thought it was $100. Their little fight here felt realistic to me where they argued and he just kind of walked out of the car. We meet the Crown Vic, which is essentially uh, Casey's car. Um, Morgan sees Morgan sees um, Sarah on a yacht. He's acting weird and different. I don't know. Maybe this episode's like a six. I'm I'm, I'm kind of going through it, but it was like be, beyond all the Chuck and Sarah stuff. It's just not much here. We have Chuck 
Morgan calls Chuck. Chuck tells him about there. Then Chuck decides to go figure shit out. Like, go see what's happening. Goes to see Casey. Flashes on the box. So this doesn't really get explained. This thing, this stuff was getting loaded onto the boat. Where did it go? Unless it is like we, unless it's maybe, it's, maybe it's like a mixed shipment. Like all the boxes have the same symbols and it's a mixed shipment of medicine and the foraging plates. This was a great moment. I thought this was the best thing where uh, kind of uh, Sarah is questioning why he would flash. If he faked the flash, what do you say? Am I, am I I'm a flash faker or fake flash, whatever? Um, let's see. Uh, Sarah being another, again, another human moment of uh, saying, haven't you ever thought about, you know, making, having a family and all these things questioning, like if she wants this life anymore. And then Casey's saying we made her choices. I like when Chuck finds out that the packages are on, um, are on the ship that Morgan's on. He goes to Casey, Casey blows him off. And then he goes to Sarah and Sarah just kind of believes him kind of regaining back that trust that for, from Chuck. We have this scene, which I kind of figured was going to happen, where they were going to make a scene just to buy some time. Fight scene, weird boat scene with Morgan with the shrimp. He's telling you not to like, eat it. But that's, to me, to me, that's not Morgan being different, Morgan. That's Morgan being regular Morgan. So that was weird. Then we reroute the, the missile. They need coordinates, goes over to the Crown Vic boat, uh, ship. And blows up uh, the car. Then we have the Christmas party. Casey wants Chuck to repay him back. Anna says that it wasn't about her hiding Morgan from her parents. It's from her hiding her the self that she is around her parents from Morgan. Kind of typical stuff. Um, Christmas gift here exchange. Them two kind of coming back into a. A nice plateau of where we're, we're at an okay state again. And then we get the twist that they're making the... We knew they were making a new intersect, but we get to see that the intersect is almost done. And ultimately, it's about to go bad for Chuck and Casey's going to have to kill him. I'm curious what's going to happen there. Maybe Sarah and Casey will get into a fight or something along those lines. But yeah, that's the episode. I don't know. It's like a 7 or a 6. It's... I, I just... I was going towards a 7, but then going through the episode, there wasn't too much there. I didn't find anything... Any of the Lester Jeff stuff to be funny. The Morgan side story was kind of... Meh to okay, I guess. Um, it was all about... The actual mission was okay, and then... The stuff with Chuck and Sarah was the best part of the episode. Everything else was kind of mediocre. So, I think I'm going to lower my score to a 6. Um, there was a, there was some, some really good moments, but a lot of just kind of meh moments. But yeah, that's my reaction. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reaction. You can get episodes extra early over there as well if you want them. But I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to talk to you guys later. Peace.